All right, guys, welcome to my top five wraith tips and tricks. And naturally, since you're watching me, exploits as well. Uh, we're going to go through several different things. Um, some of them kind of tied together, but some of them are very different. Number five, specifically for me, um, I feel like it's a little bit of a reach, but it was really hard for me to find something worthy of number five comparing to number four, three, two, and one. So number five for me is definitely going to have to be blocking doorways with your portal. Blocking doorways with your portal is really useful when you're fighting in a building, when you're fighting you know, close quarters, if you're being chased around, um, whatever situation you might find to place a portal inside of a doorway to make sure that someone cannot run through it without entering a portal. If a house has multiple entrances or maybe only one, you can kind of directly control your opponent's movements you can drop a portal in a doorway, run away, and then camp a portal to always get the first shot on an opponent if they actually decide to chase you through the portal. And even if they don't chase you through the portal, it means that you'll be blocking off a doorway in its entirety so they cannot run through it. It's really useful too because when you're playing as Wraith, you drop a portal in a doorway, or maybe you drop two portals in a doorway each. If you use your phase ability, you actually will not enter your portal. You cannot go into the void when you're already in the void. So if you use your phase, you can run through your portal, but the people chasing you, they will enter your portal. And if you use this smartly with your portal locations, you can make sure that they get sent far behind you and have to re-enter the portal and you can easily get a kill. Next up is portal baiting. Uh, this can be useful in several different ways. Uh, more specifically for me, I am bringing this up for one kind of exact scenario. So you guys know you can use your portals and other people, especially enemies and teammates can use them too. So a good way to portal bait is by pushing kind of close to a team and running away into your portal. And if the enemies decide to follow you through your portal, you'll know exactly where they end up. You can rotate when you're out of the portal. You can place yourself anywhere. But when they teleport through the portal, they're going to have to first look around to find where you are and then react to your position and then shoot you. Whereas you will just have, you can just stand and look at the portal and they will guarantee to appear there if they enter your portal. A really smart way of doing this is by placing your first entry portal where you first click your ultimate mid-air. If you jump off a cliff or maybe a rock or something, you place it mid-air and then you keep running. And if you enter your portal and enemies will enter it too, not only do you know exactly where the enemies will end up if they take your portal, they will also be falling downwards in a consistent way. So you can easily just predict their trajectory from falling out of the portal to hit a lot of easy shots and guaranteed know where they're gonna end up. They will always fall downwards. Next up is grapple phasing. I know from my stream that a lot of people don't even know that this is possible. And this tip kind of ties together with another one that I'm going to bring up a little in the next tip as well. So when you're on a grappling hook or a balloon, and maybe you're getting shot at, or maybe you don't want people to see you as easily, or you just want to evade some damage to be able to get to your location or drop off a little bit closer to the enemy or further away from the enemy. When you're on the grappling hook, you can use your phase ability. You will stay on the grappling hook and keep tra traveling along it. You'll keep zipping there, but they will not be able to shoot you. Keep in mind where you're going is still really easy to see because you're just following a straight line, obviously. But it's really useful to do if you're getting close to an enemy that's camping the end of a grappling hook and you just want to be able to get closer to him and then you can phase, you can jump off, run away, get a new position, but at least you won't have to drop off halfway in the middle of nowhere. And number two, naturally, you're watching Mendo. I'll be giving you guys some exploits. This exploit specifically is for your phase ability. You can reset the cooldown infinitely on your phase ability by using it smartly. The glitch works like this. You have to be by a grappling hook or a balloon or anything you can zap along. But you have to use your ability first. And at a certain point of your ability, I personally go by audio cues. But kind of when your camera starts shaking, you want to jump on a grappling hook and stay on until, you until your face finishes and your cooldown will not be activated. Your cooldown will be put to zero. You wanna wait a little bit, and then you can use it again. If you use it too fast after the cooldown resetting, then the cooldown, you won't get another phase, but the cooldown will activate. But if you wait for long enough, which is not that long, it's just like a second or so, you can use it again. So you can, you can phase, touch a grappling hook, jump off, phase, touch a grappling hook, jump off and do that infinitely. The cooldown will keep resetting. This is kind of an exploit, so obviously use it your own will. I think this is a little bit game breaking and I don't really support, you know, doing this all the time, but it also isn't extremely overpowered or game breaking because it can only be done by with grappling hooks. So if you're in the middle of the open or fighting somewhere weird, 
you can't really just, you know, infinitely phase in the middle of a field, but you have to be by a grappling hook with very precise timings, and there's a window in between where you can be shot. I'm hoping Respawn fixes this, but nonetheless, it is very fun to use, and it has given me a lot of, like, hilarious situations on stream. This is a trick that I recommend using if at your own discretion if you want to, you know, style on enemies or just get yourself out of a tricky situation. Um, but overall, it is really fun to use, even if it's powerful. For the final tip, this is definitely my favorite. This is obviously also an exploit since you're watching me. Can't get wins without exploits. Um, you guys know I use my Wraith Portal a lot for increased movement speed. And especially use it a lot for when my teammates are looting or far behind and I'm running somewhere. Or if I'm outside a circle and my teammates are behind me. I use my portal so I run faster than them and they can catch up to me easier. Well, this tip is all about using twice the amount of portals. This is a glitch that allows you to use double portals. And it's done like this. As you use your ability, your ultimate, you want to instantly climb something and then use your phase ability. Then you keep running. You will drop a portal after the desired distance, but your cooldown will not get your cooldown duration will not start ticking at all. The first portal will stay for its intended length, but you will be able to instantly just use your ultimate again. It doesn't start a cooldown. It doesn't reset your old charge or anything. You can just use another portal again. So you can get about twice the distance from that, even if it's for yourself traveling solo or helping your teammates catch up to you or getting your teammates out of zone or a tricky situation. Um, using this smartly too, you can put portals in confusing places so that enemies don't really know which portal goes where since there's two of each. So you can put two entrance, one entrance and one exit right next to each other and they won't really be able to tell which one leads where. It'll be a little bit easier for you because you will be able to see it on the mini-map and your teammates will as well. But you can use this very smartly for disengaging, engaging, chasing enemies, running away from enemies, whatever you feel like you could do. And I'll show you exactly how it works like this. When doing and learning the infinite portal glitch with Wraith, keep in mind, this is not intended and do it at your own discretion. We don't know if Respawn will ban or punish people for doing this. But when learning it, find a box or a ledge and try to keep the height of these ledges that you're climbing up on top at a pretty consistent level so you can learn the timing of the glitch and then start when you learn the first timing of a consistent height. Try to experiment more with top, like higher fences or higher rocks or whatever. But there are three core steps to this mechanic, and it's not that hard to do. I will play over a video and talk over as you can see here. I find a ledge to climb up on, knowing that the part of the animation of climbing that is important is the animation when you're vaulting up top to stand on the ledge. So first off, you want to get close to the ledge. And when you're close to the ledge, to start the actual glitch, step one is using your ultimate. You want to use your ultimate. Step two is to start climbing and start the vaulting animation. And as soon as you see that animation and the right part of the animation, you want to use your phase ability. And when you use your phase ability, you should be able to see your right hand disappearing. You shouldn't be holding it out like you usually do when you use your Wraith Ultimate. It should be gone. You should also be able to shoot and use weapons and use abilities. The only thing is you cannot manually place your portal wherever you want. The only way to place it is to either run until the counter is over or if you get downed. When you use this, your your phase cooldown, your ability will be put on a cooldown, but your portal will not. So the game thinks you didn't actually use your ultimate, but the portal will still get placed. So this is not a double portal glitch, because you can do this theoretically infinitely. As long as you hit it every time and you wait for your phase to come off cooldown, you can do it again and again. So you would do the glitch, your phase would end, you keep running, portal placed, 14 seconds after portal placed, your face would be up again. You find another spot for it, you do the glitch again, you keep running, place the portal, and wait for the next cooldown for phase, and you can use it again. It depends on how you want to use it. Do you want to use it to just keep running across the map with an increased movement speed, or maybe you just need two to help your friends get out of circle, or you're chasing someone? Because a lot of the time, it's often valuable to just do it twice, where you first do the glitch, you keep running, and then you do the portal again, and then you should be where you want to be. But if you want to use it several times over and over, you can keep using it as much as you want. And while I initially intended to keep this honorary mention as part of the main video, I could not find a consistent timing or way to do this glitch. I know how to reproduce it and I know how it works, 
but because of the variables included in this glitch, it's really hard to make it consistent. This clip was made by my close friend Poke, uh, twitch.tv slash pokelols. I highly recommend you check him out. He's by far one of my favorite content creators and one of my closest friends of my life for as long as I've known him since the very start of Overwatch. Uh, first of all, the giveaway is still going on, so make sure you go to my Twitter and follow the steps for the giveaway for a final mouse and the Turtle Beach headset. And second, make sure you join my Discord server. I announce whenever I go live, we announce when our new video is live, and more importantly, we now have Apex channels and Apex looking for group channels. So if you're looking for friends to play with on console or PC, or if you're looking for friends to play very aggressive or very defensive, strategic, high kill games, whatever you want, join the Discord, you can probably find your friends there.